Hey everybody, welcome back to the Midwest Smelters channel. My name's Matt. And tonight we've got something a little bit different. Uh, you guys that have been watching for probably the last six months or so, probably remember the SA300 that I took apart and scrapped it. Well, tonight we're gonna do the armature. So, all this is copper. We'll have to figure out how to get that off of here. Not entirely sure how. And then every single one of these is copper. Big old copper bars here. So I'm not sure how this is going to come apart. I've got an idea how I'm going to do it. And uh, you guys are going to learn right along with me. So uh, first off, I'm kind of curious to see what it weighs. I could have cut that shaft off and made it a little lighter, but that's okay. I'm going to put it on the scale. We're going to see what it weighs. And then uh, start get, deconstructing this bad boy. So uh, stick around and uh, let's learn together. All right, guys, let's get this thing weighed up. Get our scale turned on, zeroed out. This is very heavy. I don't particularly enjoy moving it too much. Alright guys. Let me see if we can't get you here. Weighs 161 pounds and 12 ounces. For you guys across the pond or uses the metric system. 73.35 kilo. Alright. Let's get this started. place to put you guys is so first thing we're gonna do is get rid of this this banding here don't need that throw that on the floor so then I think the next step we're gonna get rid of that banding and that banding so to do that we're just gonna hit it with the old grinder cut off wheel shred pile so now I think what we're gonna do is cut these off right through here I don't know if we'll do them one at a time or if we'll do multiple. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I think what we're going to do is just kind of fold them back, get them out of the way. Copper's really soft. Let me pause this and get a pair of safety glasses. It's throwing junk everywhere, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, if I sound a little funny, it's because I got a face mask on, well a face shield, couldn't find any glasses, so I've got my face shield, I grabbed some gloves, we'll get back after.
coming out pretty easy. That's what we like, quick and easy. Hopefully don't start rolling on us. Tell you what, I'll probably put that right there. I'll keep it. I'll stop it from rolling. All right, now we'll uh, keep on cutting, I guess. Let me roll it a little bit. I guess I could go ahead and cut these, but I'll wait a minute. These are actually, this is actually kind of fun. I would do this all the time if I had them. This armature wasn't any good, so before you Lincoln guys get after me, it was uh, not functional. I'm sure there's probably a few parts on that thing I could have saved, but. Just wasn't worth the hassle. I got a Lincoln too, I guess. So I guess you could consider me a Lincoln guy as well. So I got a few of these cut. I'm about halfway maybe, right close. So I'm gonna go through here and I'll cut these now and uh, we'll see how many of these fall out just to get them out of the way. Well, maybe not necessarily fall out, but. I guess I should have warned you if you were wearing earbuds to uh, turn the volume down. Sorry about that. That's my fault. It doesn't seem that uh, those came loose, so I'm going to move you guys back out of the way a little bit. Give her a turn and go again.
Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Seems to be growing every day. Oh, there's a few. Be nice to start getting some of these out of the way. Kind of like a little rat's nest right at the moment. I don't know, these feel pretty light, guys. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna yield much, but we'll take what we can get. Didn't quite get that one cut all the way through. Should bend off of there. There we go. All right, guys, let's cut some more. Looks like we're about done with the outside layer. That's a good thing. all of them for the outside layer. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a ton of copper here, but there's a little bit. Definitely worth doing. I mean, we already had it cut apart anyway, so. Hey guys, I'm sure you heard the voice of one of my, my youngest. She was wondering what I was up to. Like that kid loves me like you can't imagine. All right guys, let's keep on going. Looks like we got just a little bit more, and we'll have it.
guys, we got that all taken care of. Now, we're going to figure out how to get this off of here, because this is a copper chunk too. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to get a drink, and then I'll uh, come back. Alright guys, I started on this off camera because it was being a bear. The first one that came out, came out like this. And then I seen how it was put together. So, this is what they look like. They go down in here and wedge in behind the front and the back here. And, uh, I didn't think this would come apart. This drum would come apart. So what I did was, let me take you out of here so I can show you. What I did was I cut this face out right here. So then I can just slide this this way and it'll pop right out. All right, so anyway, guys, let's just uh, keep going. Get these uh, taken out of here. Anyway, that was the wife. Had to go talk to her for a minute. So anyway, let's get these going. Get started. So it just slides right out. And there's my daughter hollering. So I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I hate whenever they interrupt the video, but I love them to death, so you can't be mad at them. They're good kids. For sure. So they're still kind of a pain in the butt to get out, but they're coming. They're pretty good little weight to them, really. Making a mess everywhere, but that's okay. Well, guys, while we're while I'm sitting here working, let's do a little talking. So, uh, I want to thank everybody that's been watching the videos. They've been doing really well here lately. I really appreciate that. Uh, we're only 20 watch hours away from being monetized or being able to be monetized. You know, Google has to, or YouTube has to do their approval and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's a huge step forward in the right direction. I'm really excited about it. Been a lot of... A lot of hours and a lot of hard work but uh it's uh gonna be paying off and it's not like i wouldn't be doing this anyway even if i wasn't doing youtube that's just a bonus so like i said guys i appreciate it and uh thank you so much for sticking around and watching my videos sharing them it, is really, it really is appreciated So, all right, guys, you kind of get the gist of it, how that works, and uh, I'm going to do the rest of them probably off camera so you guys don't have to watch it, and then we'll come back, and then we'll weigh it up. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you now I made it far enough that you can just take it, and they'll turn sideways and fall out. So it's not taking near as long as I thought it would to do all these, so we'll, we'll show you a few of them.
All right, guys, they're all out of there. This thing is uh, stripped of all the copper. It is barren. And uh, made a mess of my workbench. But that's okay, because if we didn't make a mess, we weren't doing anything. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get this kind of cleaned up a little bit and threw up on the scale and we'll see what it all what it weighs all right guys i got my bucket here got it on the scale we'll get it on zero okay then we'll start throwing stuff in it after i throw it on the floor apparently i missed one there it is okay guys guys i hope you enjoyed today's video something different Still copper, of course, but uh, definitely something different. This is the first time I've taken apart one like this. I know the uh, longtime viewers see me do a smaller one, and I didn't take it down this far. I didn't take all these out of that small one yet, so I still have that. I still got that to do, and I will do it. I just wanted to get this thing out of the way because it's big and heavy and in the way trying to pick all the junk out of this as I go my yard's not super picky about trash and this kind of stuff but I still want to take them something decent which if I have enough copper this time guys I'm gonna go to a different yard see it's all Nice, good, solid copper. I'll take it to a different yard. And uh, that pays more, but it's just a little further away. I just didn't have enough last time to justify going. And I know for sure that yard will not let me film, so I apologize about that. But I don't plan on going anytime soon. It'll be in the spring, most likely. Give us time to get our stock built up. Easy to miss one in all this garbage. But I think we got them all now. All right. So let's see what that weighs. Just the ends is 18 pounds, 4 ounces. So then we'll put the, I guess I don't know if you could call this wire or what you want to call this, but it's more like solid bars. I'd love to get a motor wire with these. That'd be pretty cool. That'd probably be a pretty big one though. Well guys, I'm going to have to uh, fold this up real small to fit it all in here. So I'm going to pause the video and then uh, we'll carry on when we get that in there. All right, everybody, we got it all in there. We got it weighed up. It's 36 pounds, 13 ounces. Or 16.7 kilograms. There we go, we fit it all in one bucket. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment, and I hope I've earned your subscription. We'll catch you on the next one.